WEHD Local Lifestyles continues. I am so happy to welcome back to Local Lifestyles, local author Jean Knight Pace. She has a new book to share with us and a book signing. I'm so glad you reached out to me. Yes. Yes, I am too. Thank you so much for having me and making time for me on the show. Well, I think one of the things if people watch the show often, they realize what an active writing community we have across yes. every genre. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And you've been involved with other writers for a long time, mm -hmm. Jean. I have, yeah. I have, and I really enjoy it. Tell us about your book. Okay, this is a book that is close to my heart. Oh, it yes. is about my mother. It's a very short collection of essays, mostly about her fight with cancer and eventually her death from cancer. So it's a book about grief, but even more than that, I hope that it is a book about finding the light in dark times and laughing sometimes together in the dark times and coming together and also just remembering. It is so important, I mean, all of those things. And you are able to, I think, speak for people who maybe don't have the gift of writing. And when they read this, it's probably going to be a lot of comfort to them. I hope so. That was my hope in putting it together. Well, how important is it, do you think, when, especially in an incident like this, when you have a shared experience, when somebody's been through what you've been through? How important that is that to you? I mean, it's, it's huge for me. And everyone grieves differently, and I understand that. Like, sometimes people don't want to read about grief, but sometimes people really benefit from it. It's very healing, very cleansing, and that's definitely how it is for me. Well, this is a bit of a departure from the things we've it talked about with is. you in the past. Tell folks what you typically write. <laughs> I usually write young adult fantasy and science fiction, but I have always had a sweet spot in my heart for memoir, and several of these essays were published alone previously in different publications, and so I decided to put them together into one collection about my mom. Now, when is your, when, when and where is the book signing? The book signing is May 4th from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock at Barnes & Noble, and what I'm really excited about is for the whole month of May, all of my profits are going to be donated to the Huntsman Cancer Institute, which is where mom was treated and... So I'm hoping to sell a lot of books in May and be able to give back to them. If people can't get to the book signing, how can they acquire your book? It is on Amazon. It is at Barnes & Noble. All right, so really easy to get. Yes. And very small. And this will be a good yes. gift, Mother's Day. That's what I'm up. hoping. So perfect timing mm -hmm. for you. What's your next project, Jean Knight Pace? Well, I'm very excited <laughs> about this, too. For years, along the memoir uh, vein, for years I've been working with a friend who was addicted to drugs. And it's a story of her addiction and her recovery and her long walk home. And it is a gorgeous, beautiful, inspiring story. So I hope to get her on um, to talk with you about that in a few months when her book Would comes out. love to have that story. It's and amazing. It would, uh, that, again, that's a story that can really resonate with people who have loved ones who struggle with drugs. Yes, 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 and it's an amazing, inspiring story. She's an amazing person. It was an honor to write her story. So. Well, as always, it's a joy to have you here. Can everybody follow you on Facebook? Is that the best Yes, way? Okay. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram. She's everywhere. I'm everywhere. And she's going to be at Barnes & Noble. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Barnes & Noble, that's right. Thank Thanks. you so and much. And the book is Hugging Death by Jean Knight Pace. Thanks so much. Good Thank to see you. Thank you, Angie. And let's check in with our Ron Rhodes. We've got a windy afternoon headed our way, but a warm one. First time we've hit 80 degrees this year. I'll be back to tell you about the storm threat tonight coming up.